day five of the Canadian Prairies Road Trip Challenge. Is there zip lining today? And I'm Christian. And we are Tumbleweed RV Life. We decided to live our dreams now and today and not wait till tomorrow or someday. If you're new to our channel, hit the red subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, hit the bell for future notifications on all our next videos. Yesterday was day four. We had a great day touring southern Saskatchewan. We'll put a link to the video right here. Maybe you should go have a look at that one. What are we doing today, Papa? Today we're continuing into southern Saskatchewan, getting closer to the Alberta border. There might be some zip lining involved today. We hope we can get in. The weather's finally cleared up and we finally. hope it stays that way. We're gonna hit a few places that might be of interest. Why don't you stick around? Let's go have some fun. That was a great night. What a beautiful place this is. Lovely brook. Do, could you hear the water? Like, yeah, it was beautiful. Across the way from that was a golf course so it was quiet and of course we're by train tracks again we're on our way to Shonovan looks like a dinosaur That's the Heritage Museum. This is the little town of Cadillac on Highway 13. We were just heading westbound towards Alberta and we saw a little tent sign from the road. And we found this little campground. We thought maybe it, would, it was just a tent that it would just be tenting. It's also a campground and it's free. It's by donation only. So we just stopped just a little short from this place last night. Had we known, we would have overnighted here. And that's probably why it's just tent camping. It looks like there's uh, pit toilets there in the back. And we did find water right there. There is a spigot. Yeah, good potty. Well, that's a historical church. Oh, that's cute. Shonovan ahead, Belmary to the left, and Swift Current to the right. milk can for the dog bags and there's the train wow those trains are really tagged oh that's really nice tag that's quite that's quite beautiful artwork on those ones and yeah it's his cultural center that's the one good morning Okay. 
David Albert Lurat. Cobbling and Carpentry and This is made out of buffalo Singer sewing machines. Yeah. Here, get some lunch meat, and we can go over to the co-op and get some lettuce for lunch meat lettuce wraps. Ooh, oh my gosh. I wish there was smell vision They have jerky and that's happening. Check this out, Christian. They have sweet barbecue bacon, apple cinnamon bacon, jalapeno bacon. Oh my, we need to buy some milk. Wow. We're at the ranch house and we're picking up some cold cuts, bacon, eggs, and I just noticed they have gluten-free products here as well. So this is another campground in Shonovan. Night. It has electrical, no sewer, but it also has water. So that was Shonovan. And it, it's a cute little town. It is a cute little town. Very friendly people. I would live here. I would, I, I would live, live here. here. It's just the right size. Just the right size. So we're just heading to the next town. And on the way, we were told that there's a nice little rustic, kind of low-service, small campground. Yeah. And we're going to go check it out. Oh, it's a camp kitchen. We're not going across that bridge. We'd get across, but we'd be damaging the bridge. It looks like, you know, heavy rigs have already been on it. It does look like it. This is 23. I don't like it. This is a really nice you'd, spot. You'd get uh, shade in the morning, right? To sleep. So we would point this way towards the sun. The yep. solar panels. Yeah. And then we'd get good solar gain throughout the day. After 
driving through a little bit, there was a few bridges we didn't want to take because the sign right here says three ton maximum. And we're, we're technically seven tons. But we didn't want to chance it. But there was a loop that had no bridges and the sites were wonderful. And we would actually stay here. There's no services, 28 feet maximum length. We would stay here. We love this place if we ever come back through. And this is a time of day that we would need to stop somewhere. This is a good place. I would recommend it. What about you, Jason? Absolutely. Look at the pretty orange flowers. Wow. Look at that. Wild flowers. Definitely a great place. Wow, that's a problem. We are at the T-Rex Discovery Center. Let's go check it out. My life ambition when I was a kid was to be an, ar an archaeologist and this is exciting for me. Hi there. Good, how are you? We need to sign the guest book. Okay. Ready? This is where they work. Paleontology. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Cypress Hills. And what are we doing there? We're going to see about zip lining. <laughs> well guys, this video was a little too long. We're going to have to cut it in half and stay tuned for part two for the zip lining.